welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm doing a review on the mini uno sleep easy three and one travel cot slash bassinet slash change mat so let's go ahead I'm gonna keep it real with you guys here so uh, I am gonna show you I've used this before it's been over a month now since I've had it um, and I only have been using the travel cart the travel cot portion because um, my kid is now at that age where he is looking to start to crawl. So I wanted something to just be able to keep him in when I got to do things where I can't have him in my arms um, and just somewhere that he's where he's safe. Uh, and so uh, what the bassinet part and the changing mat, I've never used. I just put this together now, but I'm going to show you how I put it all together. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm keeping it real with you here. I am not gonna just show you what you just see, like the final product. No, I'm gonna show you how there were some times where I was struggling, but I managed to get it together and put this uh, all together for you. So let's just jump right in. I'll show you exactly how I put all this together and also in the end, show you how I dismantle it as well. Here we go. Okay guys, so let's begin putting this together. I've got my manual, so I'm most likely gonna be using that to guide me, but I know how to put together the travel cut. So that's the first thing. So let's do that. So here's the here's like the base of it. You gotta open it up and on each side, because it's like a rectangle, there's these like clips that you, that you see here. See how it just went in? Um, so once I pull it out, you just grab and you should snap in as you pull up. If not, just, there we go, flick it up, flick it up, flick it up. And then the middle, there's this red tag here. So what you're going to do is you're going to press it down. down and then you hear a snap <laughs> then you got your base done so this is pretty much a travel cot now you've got to protect the baby because in here it's like literally just the fabric right in there you can see like if you see me kicking it with my foot right there's no base to protect the baby's head and body so, this is where oh, you take this now, this mat, and you place it down into the pot. So, so then, this is what you have. See, there's the mat right here. And you can pull it off, as you can see, and lay it back, lay it back down, flat. Okay, so I've got my instruction manual here, and I'm going to assemble the bassinet. And so now that I've got the cot portion put together, um, I'm going to actually take the mat out, because the mat 
is like the last thing you put in. Okay, and it says to uh, lower the bassinet into the cot body, and you're gonna zip the bassinet sections to the fabric side rails of the cot. So, in order to do that, um, so, along this entire cot, there is like a zipper going around here. And that zipper is what you're going to, half of the zipper is what you're going to attach to this bassinet. So the bassinet has, I'll come closer, has um, zippers, a zipper lining. I don't know if you can see, literally going all around the bassinet. So. What were you supposed to do? And then there's Velcro and notice thing as well. Ah, I see. Okay, so we don't need one side of Velcro. And then I see right here on this side, there is Velcro right there. So that is probably where you're going to attach the Velcro, which makes it easier for you to keep it all together while you're trying to zip it around. So I'm attaching the Velcro together. And now I have to find the link to where the zipper starts. Or is it the other way around? Um, usually, you know, when there's a beginning and end of a zipper, ah, I see it. Okay, it's right by the Velcro. So you've got to take that zipper. You know when you're zipping up a jacket and you have that little square part that you gotta hook in the zipper into and then pull? That's what you're seeing right here in the corner underneath the Velcro flap here. Um, and so what I'm doing now is I'm going to attach it on. And then, then Velcro just automatically kind of just falls into place. But if you just want to fix it properly, you can or do that at the end. And now you have to hold as you zip along. Once you get the zipper in, just start going along. Obviously, when you, the corners are a little bit tough, but they're corners. And you just gotta pull it down in order to get the zipper around the corner. And then you just zip right along. It comes another corner. Hold it. You guide the zipper around the corner. Go. Another corner. Around. Then fix this, make it stay open, and, and then just lift up that velcro part so you can get right down to the end. Once you get it end, secure it over the zipper, and there is your bassinet. Okay. Now it says fit the tubes together on either side of the bassinet. So the tubes would be these things right here. Are they the same size? No, they're not. Okay, so, okay. so it looks like you have to attach them together. Um, and but you do that once you put them in. So how it works is they've got ends on each side. So I guess you know that the end part here and here would come would go on like this. And then these two, you have to insert it in at the end like so, okay? There's pockets for these on each ends here with the bassinet. Let's see if I can lift it up. So there's a pocket right here. And so you would just slide it in the pocket, like so, and just do that one there for now. Did that just come out? Yes, it did. <laughs> uh, just, just hold it here. I'll have to bring it down for a second. And then the other pocket on the other side for this one, you just slide it in. got them in, then you just, so if you got them in, as you can see, you're going to attach them in, like so, that's one, and then you do the 
next one. Oops. Oh, okay. So same thing. There's pockets on the ends here on the other side. Pop it in. Snap them in together. All right. Done. So this is what it looks like now. There's one right there. The two here and then the two other two at the bottom right there. Next, it says to then take the mat for the baby's sleeves on, um, the padded mattress, and secure it using the Velcro tabs. So, on each side, oh, on each side, there's Velcro here on the back of the mat. Right here. And on this side as well. So it's saying to secure it with the Velcro. Now, I'm curious to know where the heck <laughs> the Velcro part. Like, I mean, you put it in like so. I don't, I don't feel any Velcro. It's telling you to secure it in with the Velcro. Where the heck is the Velcro? I, I must be doing something wrong. I mean, if any of y'all know, I mean, look what it's telling you to do right here. Do you see that? This picture right here. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Where? Insert the padded mattress and secure it using the Velcro tabs. This is stupid. I'm sorry, but it is. All right. I'm gonna figure this one out because I don't understand. Okay, I have to stop recording for a second here because I mean, this just really threw me off to number four in regards to assembling the bassinet because it says like I said insert the padded mattress and secure it using the velcro tabs so obviously the velcro this is the padded mattress then these are the velcro tabs but in the picture um it shows as if they're telling you to fold it in half and then put it in but if you fold it in half there's this huge section which I'll show you here So, okay, so if I were to fold this in half, what about the bars on this side? Like, what, what happens with this side right here, right? If the baby rolls over, they're gonna fall into this part here, right? Yeah, I know there's gonna be a changing mat here, but that doesn't make any sense, and sometimes you may not want the changing mat on there. So either way you look at it, this is not secure. It makes no sense. And I have to like look at other, like, online pictures and videos of, like, other fastness that were similar to this and everyone does it like this they put the mattress part in cover up the 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 velcro tabs at the bottom like stick them in the bottom underneath so it looks like this that makes sense does it not now that photo that they showed does not make any sense at all so To me, this is the this this has to be the way because what there are there's no sticky velcro around here other than this one part that I showed you in the beginning, but that was for the zipper part um for the velcros to attach themselves on each end. Makes no sense. Anyways, let's continue on. And now the next part is going to be the um the baby changer mat. So, this is the, my first time using this. Okay, let's see what it says here. So it says, pass both the long and short pipes through the openings on the changing table. Ensure that the plastic caps clips on the short sides are facing inward. 
Okay, so here we go. We start with the long ones. So we did the long and then the long and the short. And so facing inwards, like no, like this, the long is facing outwards and the shorter are facing inwards. So I guess there's like a pocket you put this in. Is that how you do it? Oh, I see. Hold on. Nope, that's not it. It's got to be in the because... Alright, let's get this on the floor here. So... Ow. Okay. Here we go. Way. Push it through. Snap it in. Press the button. Snap. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Pull this out. Let's see what happens if I pull it up. Nope, that doesn't work. What if I do this? Oh my gosh, y'all. now cannot get this one to let's try this maybe that's what I need to do oh my gosh all right let's let's pull this in and then give it a try all right there we go it's, you gotta you really gotta get it in the pocket slots here before you attach it because if you don't it is impossible to put it, the last part together. That is why I was struggling. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay, now it says two. Press the plastic clips down on the cot sides and ensure that the changing table is secure on the cot before use. Okay, so changing, here's the cot, place it on the side like so what's this for it's a little sticky 
in here. And then, what's this for? They don't even tell you what this is for either. Or do they? Maybe that's the next page. Let me see here. Um, yeah, no, they don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> One, two, oh, wow, okay. Um, okay, well, that don't make no sense now because now it doesn't want to, <laughs> it goes over. Wait, hold on. Uh, maybe got it. There we go. Three. Oh, no, get that one. Over. This one don't want, this one doesn't want to come over. What in the, what kind of, oh, okay, let's try this again, come on, go away. Uh, one, two, oh my gosh, that was hard. Okay, so I guess this is supposed to just cover it to make it look nice, I guess. And, but then there's two little ones dangling here. What's that for? And they don't even have a picture to tell you what that's for. What kind of... What kind of kiss me ass thing is this? Oh my days. Okay. okay. Do you not see this, guys? What is this for? Uh, I mean, is it supposed to click on to something? Like, what is it supposed to look like? Because I don't see what that is for. And you don't really want that in the way, the baby. Like, am I supposed to just put it here? But if I'm supposed to put it there, then what? What? what is this for? Maybe it's supposed to be things that you can hang stuff on, I guess. I mean, I just, beats the world out of me, I don't even know. <laughs> what is that for? Okay, well, it looks like it's been put together. I, I, I. I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it's secure, it's fine, but I mean, this part right here, it's these little tail parts here, I really don't know what they're for, but I only can assume because it's like a hook type thing, you can add things like, you know, like a bag, like a diaper bag and stuff like that on here. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. And that makes sense as to why this part here, you close it so it's out of the way, no one can see it. Because when I'm looking inside, it's it's not visible. You don't see it. It's not something the baby can get. Um, obviously, when the baby, when your baby is like six months or is able to sit up, you want to. This is no longer this bassinet is no longer um, good to use. Uh, so you, that's when you want to bring it down to uh, a travel cot size. Um, but for now, it's perfect for the baby. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, that was such a workout. Uh, okay, so this is pretty much what it is. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's long, so if you don't have a lot of space, I wouldn't recommend getting uh, this travel cot because it <laughs> uh, it's about just over a meter in length in length, it's just over a meter in length. Whereas um, a square travel cot would just be perfect for those who have a little sm like small spaces in your home. Um, but because I have a big enough space, I'm okay with it. Like when I first bought this and I pulled it out of the box and then I opened it up, I was like, oh, okay, that's quite long. But that's okay, we got room. Um, but if we didn't have room, yeah, I would be bringing it back to get something smaller. Um, uh, I do like the fact that, um, you know, it's, it's sturdy. You can move it easily around, as I'm doing right now. Um, the one thing that I, I, um, I was like, well, why is it like this? But my husband was like, well, what do you expect? It's a travel pad. It's not really something that the baby's really supposed to be fully sleeping in. It's this mattress. It's it's a little bit padded, you know what I mean? But, um, and then here's like the boarded part. I just expect it to be more, more cushiony. That's just me, I don't know. But um, other than that, my baby likes it. 
he doesn't complain, you know, he moves a lot in it, which is good. This is why I do like the fact that it's nice and long, because he can move around, uh, roll over. Uh, even if he rolls over too far, the bench part catches him here, so it will push him back in, which is good. I've never used the changing table, but I love the fact that it's quite wide, and it's got that, um, it goes up on the sides to prevent the baby from when they roll over to fall out. Obviously, you still need to watch your child. I will not walk away from your child on one of these, to be honest with you. Um, and I like the fact that you have this bag here. So my family and I were looking to possibly do a European trip, hopefully this year. This is gonna come in handy, um, especially when we get to hotels that uh, don't really cater to um, Children, or you do come across hotels that do, but the crib that they give you, like, are you kidding me? You expect me to put my child in this nasty thing? Heck to the no. Anyways, um, okay, now <laughs> I'm going to do the, I'm going to disassemble this and I'm going to see how long this is going to take me and if it's going to be even difficult to do at the same time. So uh, here we go. Let's do this now. So move that bag. I'm gonna pull off the, the travel mat. So I don't use this, so I'm just gonna pull it apart. Um, now, remember my struggle was with getting it in this part here to attach the bars. So you've got to get one of the bars on one end, the long side, um, out of the, the uh, what do you call this thing here? Oh, she's struggling here. Out of the sleeve. And once you do that, then remember I was telling you about these holes here? So, this, these right here, you press down and then pull. And then you hear a click when it's in and when it's out as well. And then it comes off. Then you're able to take the sleeve off of here a lot easier. Do the same thing, press down, pull out. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's try this again. Press down. This one seems a little bit stuck. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's one. Out. And then do the other side here. Press it out. Ah. Let's do it my way. Face it my way. Oh gosh. Okay, this one doesn't want to come out. Um. Hold uh on. -huh. Okay, there's one. Oops, this one's coming out. It's, it's one bar. The long bar. Let's see if we can get this one out now. It's kind of stuck. May have to use like a uh, a uh, a pen. I'm gonna lay it down. Oh, better to lay it down. Ah, there we go. Got it out. Take out the other long bar. Out of the sleeve. See, that's how it's coming out. Like that. And then, same thing for the shorter one called, yeah, that one's called A. The longer one was called B. And then, pull it out. Okay, so that was the mat. So I'm going to fold this in. I wonder if I could put the bars in here just to make it a lot neater when I'm Okay, 
that's for the, yeah. So I guess that's all I can do is just close it in like so. Okay, so we'll leave that on the side for now because that's, you'll see why. Okay, now take out the mattress and I'm going to fold the mattress. I want to do it? No, I don't want to do it like that. Oh, I know why. The mattress is the last thing you put to. You put around the whole entire cloth and then put it in the bag. So I'm going to take out the, remember these uh, bars on each side? So, oh, that was easy. One, set. Two, set. And I'm gonna put that in that bag that I had um, the changing mat in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the the lining of the bassinet. So to do that, remember the Velcro. Remove it, put it off here. Then take the zipper, which is right here, and go right around. Right Just be careful when you do this because if it gets caught, you don't want to um, to the point where it gets caught in like a piece of the mesh or the fabric and then you ruin it, right? Like, I'm not saying, treat it like when you're, you know, you're zipping up your suitcase and it's like so full, you don't want to rip the zipper, right? Okay, so I remove the bassinet lining, fold it up nice and neat. Alright, put that down there. Okay, so now the actual cut. So remember, to dismantle it, you've got to, there are locks here, 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 and here. And then one down here where it's red, you can see that red uh, uh, strip is what you pull up to bring everything in all together. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. So I'm gonna press the button and the button's here and you go up is what you do. So you press, is it, or is it, oh no. Take that back. So you, you get the red button, the red button, the red strap, which is right there. And then you pull up and it literally collapses the, the cloth. So now once it collapses, you've got to then collapse the, the bars at the top here. And that's when you're able to collapse. When it's in full mold, it won't, you can't, you can't press this button, which is really smart because if you have kids and they watch you do it one time and then they think, oh, this is fun. And they'll try to collapse with the baby in it, in, in the cot. It's impossible, right? So I like that. That's a good feature now, now that I noticed that. So, okay. So all I have to do now is press the button to unlock. Did you hear that? And then pull down. Okay. So that's one side. And then same thing here. Press button up and pull down. Next side, press button up, pull down. And last but not least, on this side, press button up and pull down. Let me just get this one out of the way and pull down. Okay, so then, now that I've done that, I'm going to bring it all in. So, if, if it's stopping you from putting it in, that means there's something that has not locked properly. So you have to kind of go back and figure it out, like what's not locked. Was it this? Yes. Okay, so that's that side and this side. There you go. Pop it all in. Okay. I got my mesh bassinet. I'm gonna just stick that in there somewhere. Okay. Then I'll take the travel cot mattress. Oh, it looks 
you're going to get down on your knees for this one. And place this in the middle. And I believe. Okay, so I have to do this again because I'm struggling again. Um, so you take the travel cot and you try and put it like somewhere in the middle here. And then what happens is, is that you're gonna like fold it in like so, okay? Fold it to, until it can, those, this part here can fold right over. And once it folds right over perfectly, then you take the Velcro, Velcro, put it through the, um, like the Velcro strap here and then bring it over nice and tight to secure it. Okay, so that's that. Ugh. Then, whoo, shot. You take the bag. Unless you take the bag, I think it's easier if you, for me, when I do this upside down then put it over like so and then turn it over okay so now you've got you've got the um the mattress pad to put in and there should be an area where you should a nice little slot to fit it in. So, bring that down. In. Okay. Cover it up. Make sure everything's in. Use my legs here. I'm going to take the zipper. Here we go. Oops.
you're not really expecting it to the mattress to be nice and you know cushiony like a like a mattress crib or a cot when you think about it um but my baby likes it this mesh will like protect them and it will push it kind of back in uh to roll back onto the other side which is cool um and that the fact that it's mesh so even if my little one gets really close up when he's sleeping he can obviously breathe, breathe through these holes here it's easy to move around <clears throat> so there are no wheels but it's just super easy so i'm on wood floor right now and as you can see it's like whoa okay um it's quite light to be honest with you like if i were to pick it up it is super light i could carry this up the stairs if i wanted to by myself that's how late it is. The bassinet does shake a little, but I'm assuming that is supposed to help rock the baby when you're, you know, trying to put the baby to sleep. Um, but that's only rocking if you are placing your hand inside on top of the mattress and then just moving it back and forth. Because I don't think, I mean, it kind of does it a little when you do it with the crib. But, I don't know. I like the crib. The assembly in regards to the travel cot, cinch, super easy. But when it comes to the uh, bassinet and the changing mat, oh, I was struggling. I really was. So I don't. I. I, I mean, once you get it, I mean, obviously it's the first. It was my first time. So if I have to keep doing this, obviously I would get it. It would become like second nature to me. But it was hard putting it together. The instructions weren't the greatest in the manual, but uh, I had to figure it out. And um, I'm overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the design. Uh, for me, based on my home, the size, um, and me being able to uh, fit it in my house and take it anywhere I want to go, uh, especially like we're, we're, my family and I were planning to do a European road trip and so this is going to come in handy i would definitely rate this probably like a four i like the fact that it comes with this bag carry-on bag and it's i don't think it's big enough to fit um actually you know what when i look at it i think it is big enough to fit in a um on, on a plane on the overhead luggage it would take up one whole length though um and then maybe people could just store things on top of it. But uh, even if it couldn't, again, you know, you just wrap it up with some, uh, um, what do you call that, plastic wrap, and then check it in. Uh, and, and yeah, like, I mean, and it's, it's, it's super, like I said, super light. Obviously, when you put it all together, there's a little, little bit of weight. But the straps, you have the straps to hold and carry. They're sturdy. So I think it's... I think it's perfect when it comes to the the, the mobility of this um, this three in one travel cot. That was a workout. <laughs> I'm sure I lost uh, 50 calories right there. Yeah, but um, if you have any questions, please, 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 please leave your details down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not going to say sorry for um, the uh, trial and errors. That was the whole point of this video. I wanted people to see um, how easy it was to put together and what I need to do when it wasn't to put it together. Um, because let's be honest, you know, when I'm, I'm probably not the only person who has one of these and was struggling to get it, put it together, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that I put it together. It's a good cut. I gave it four stars. Uh, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you got a little one, you'll go out and get your little mini Uno. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. You take care and I will see you soon. Bye for now.